Hello there, and welcome to Norwegian Woods. This time I'm out on, uh, on another little overnighter in the middle of the Norwegian wilderness. This time it's, uh, it's summer, and uh, the forecast said that it might be a really heavy uh, rainstorm and maybe a little bit of thunder later tonight, today and to, tonight, so this can be interesting. Before I put up my, my camp, I want to take a little, little bit of time and talk a little bit about gear and outdoor equipment in general. I'm not an expert on uh, outdoor equipment. I'm, I'm learning about this stuff. And I'm in this uh, process of uh, expanding my kit a little bit. And uh, I think this process will uh, go on for a little while because it's uh, quite expensive and it takes a little bit of research to get, uh, get the right stuff. And I, the reason I want to do this is because I want to, I want to experience some different kinds of activities out in the, out in the wilderness. And that's uh, one of the, the key things with this uh, uh, equipment thing, I think. That uh, people bring different uh, stuff out in the woods for different reasons because they want to do different things, they have different interests, different uh, levels of experience. And uh, yeah, people in general are, are different. And uh, as, I, as I've said on my uh, description on my channel on, here on YouTube, that I want to uh, uh, do all kinds of different outdoor activities. And to be able to do this, I will need to acquire a little bit of equipment. Like for instance, if I want to make a video about hunting, and I, I, of course this is also about my experience, if I want to experience how hunting in, in the outdoors, I need to acquire a little bit of hunting gear. If I want to make a video and experience the, a little bit of fishing, I need to get myself a little bit of fishing gear. The same f goes for uh, long distance hiking and uh, if you want to make uh, a video about uh, a canoe trip you need to have a canoe available or else it's really really difficult to make uh, videos and experience exactly that. I really don't feel a need to, to just acquire gear for, uh, for the sake of the gear. I want to get the gear I need to realize my ideas and to do the kind of uh, outdoor stuff I would like to do. And uh, I hope to be able to make a little bit of uh, variations on my uh, activities from, from video to video and uh, show a little bit of gear and share my experiences with this, uh, with this gear as I go on. So oh, then it's starting to rain. I managed to get my tarp up and uh, put all my my equipment underneath it before it started. So I think I'll be all good. I'm just uh, hoping for some uh, some thunder tonight. That would be really awesome.
And it looks like this uh, this rain is uh, is leaving me. I was hoping for some really really bad weather today, but uh, at this point it looks like it's going to be a really nice evening. I can see some uh, some blue spots up in the sky, and uh, I've tried some uh, a little bit of fishing. I didn't have any luck yet, but uh, maybe later or tomorrow morning we'll see. But now I want to try out this uh, this, this little stove and see if I can make, make myself a little bit of coffee. This little stove is uh, one of these wood burning stoves that you can actually use for quite a few different things. It came with this, uh, this is the bush box. XL and this is the combination kit. It comes with a, a pouch, a nylon pouch, seems really nicely made. And this uh, little thing. It's easy to, to open it and to make it ready for use. It's, uh, a really nicely made little uh, little stove. I'm looking looking forward to getting to know it. So like I did now, I put this uh, this grill plate they call it inside the inside the in the middle of the stove here, and I want to use it with my Trangia. For this first little uh, experimental burn, let's see how this. Yeah. For this first little uh, coffee making uh, test burn, I have uh, put about half a liter of water inside this uh, 12 centimeter zebra pot and uh, yeah it's uh, it's not uh, actually a boil test like I see many people do I uh, really don't find that uh, kind of tests all that useful but uh, what I would find really useful at this moment is to get some uh, some nice warm coffee so I hope this little uh, setup will help me out with that. And it looks like my, uh, my water is boiling. Try to... comes with two of these uh, these uh, bars that you can use in a lot of different ways on the stove and uh, Bushcraft Essentials what was uh, kind enough to send me two extra of these and I think that can come in really handy for a lot of things
I have really not done that and really that much of this kind of fishing before. Usually I've been earlier I've been fishing in a much larger lake further down in the in this area. And uh, I don't actually think that my uh, equipment, my fishing uh, fishing rod is uh, really good suited for this uh, smaller baits or lures so i for this trip i borrowed this uh, actually a really nice uh, fishing rod from a friend of mine and i'm using it with uh, with my old reel and i have this uh, suspicion that uh, the line i'm using is a little bit too thick it's, uh, i think it's 0 0.2 millimeter of this uh, new, uh, I don't know the English name for it, this fiber line. And uh, I really can't reach all that far out with the small, uh, small weights at the end of the, of the line. But I know that there is some really good fishing in this, in this lake. Uh, nice perch and there's also some really nice uh, trout in this little lake so hopefully when I stop stop talking and uh, a little bit later maybe I'll be able to catch something that I, that I can actually eat So maybe some of you have some uh, recommendations for me. What kind of lures to use for this uh, this kind of fishing I'm doing? I have uh, had a lot of luck with uh, this one for a little bit larger perch down in the bigger lake earlier, and also this one. I have had a lot of luck when I was fishing from from a boat. And I used to do that all the time when I was a kid, drive around with a small, a small uh, four horse, horsepower engine around and around this pretty big lake, catching pike and, and perch. It was some awesome, awesome times. But this time I'm uh, about to try to catch some, uh, some trout, maybe about, hopefully, one kilo. That's uh, between two and three pounds. So I think some of this, I have a few of these old, old baits I've used for years, but I don't know which one to use for, for, uh, for this fish. Do you have any recommendations? Please, uh, please write so in the comment section under this video. Now oh, I'm starting to get really hungry, so I need to make myself a little bit of fire. This time I want to put some firewood inside this uh, the actual stove and see if it uh, if it will work. Twigs. This is mostly mostly uh, pine twigs I put in. There's a little bit of spruce, but I really don't want to use spruce this time of the year because it's spruce is always putting out a lot of sparks, and it has been really dry for a long long time this summer. 
and uh, I don't want to start a forest fire. piece I'm working on here is some really nice fat wood. So uh, hopefully that would be enough. Yeah, this was actually quite easy to get started. So the next project now is to build up a little bed of coals that I can cook my food on, I guess. This is the first time I try out the stove like this. I uh, did try out this uh, and gasifier stove on my last trip and I really really hope that the gasifier stove and this uh, this bush box will complement each other for different uh, kinds of trips I brought with me this stuff is some ground meat ground meat and I brought with me Onion, green pepper, have some garlic, and some hot chili. And I have two of these. Bouillon cubes. I hope would be nice. And I have one can of chili beans and one can of uh, tomatoes. I really think this would be an awesome meal if I manage to cook it out in the rain. And I also hope it <laughs> will all fit inside this uh, little 12 cm zebra pot. And in addition to these ingredients, I also brought some, uh, some butter. And let's see if I can find it. Yeah. My salt and pepper shaker. That's. I think that's pretty much it. So the first thing I need to do is to uh, actually fry up this uh, this ground meat, perhaps together with this uh, with this onion. It is actually starting to get uh, pretty dark already, so. Uh, managed to get some uh, good video of this uh, little cooking experiment because I've never made any food like exactly like this out in the, in the wilderness before and I think it might maybe a really really nice meal I do have some high hopes for this one
chunks. That's perfect. I think I'll try to put in a couple of these. one so you can put them in so they go flush with this side this side of the of the top of the stove and you can flip them so they go a little bit above and it looks like that's flush with these two sides and I think that may be a little bit more, more suitable for this from above but that's okay because my little camera is waterproof so it's perfect I'm not water waterproof so I guess I need to put on some rain gear Anyone from the local fire department watch me burn this little wood stove out here in the middle of the Norwegian summer. I will tell you, it's raining, it's pouring down. And I think that. Bringing fresh meat like this out in the, in the woods in the summer, it's a little bit risky, but uh, I took it out of my, uh, my fridge this morning, uh, in the middle of the day actually. So it's just been a few hours and it's not really, really hot. So I think this, uh, this meat would be, would be nice. That's perfect. It looks like this uh, this little project is going pretty good. It's wet. It's raining, so I don't think I need to add any water into this. <laughs> Oh, Mother Nature helps me out with that one. So now, while my little uh, stove is uh, going good down in the by the by the water, I'm back to try to. Prepare the rest of my little little meal. Yeah. So just put everything into this this little pot. Pieces of garlic, enough, I think. I've seen a lot of different ways to do this. Um, I'm probably not doing it the right way, but I'm doing it a way. Uh, 
cut these in fairly small. Pieces like this. Maybe. Because this is all it's going to boil together for some time. And later on. And all the flavors will stay inside this pot. The next thing I want to put in this in this dish is this uh, chili supposed to be a really hot one so that sounds good to me these little seeds are supposed to have a lot of this uh, good stuff in them and I like spicy food so I will yeah I keep them inside the pot together with everything else. Oh yeah. And this will be one spicy chili pot for sure. Oh yeah. And into the pot it goes. Perfect. Perfect. So, as far as the rest of my ingredients go, I think I will try to finish up the frying of the ground meat and the onions. And I will uh, put that inside the pot together with the pepper and uh, chili and garlic. Add some uh, salt and pepper first maybe and then I will fill up the pot with uh, with the cans and hopefully I will manage to get most of the beans and tomatoes in there before it goes all full. The rain has actually died down a little bit so I can bring out my little on my good camera to put in some salt and pepper because it's a lot better in low light this uh, larger Sony camera with a really fast lens on it and, uh, yeah but it doesn't take all that uh, much of, of water before it dies I think This little stove is not all that hard to, to control when it comes to the heat. It's, uh, it's a quite good size inside it, so you can put in a little bit larger pieces of, uh, of wood than I can in the in the solar stove. But you can see that some of the uh, coals fall out on the side, so it's not all that safe, but it's uh, I Think it's perfectly good for this uh, at least for these conditions, but I think you can manage to make safe fires in the in the summertime with this with this stove And I just saw a fish jumping right next to my uh, My frying pan I think he wants to get in there tomorrow. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, if he insists, I will. Uh, I will let him in there. Ooh. Seriously, this is smelling really, really good, and. Uh, I have just started. <laughs> this is some promising cooking. I think this uh, 
It's actually so dark that it's a little bit hard to see. Yeah, this is uh, ready to go into the into the pot for sure. And this is my uh, this is my pot that I prepared. And I put all of this inside. It smells good. It smells really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm ready for the cans. Can you see this? Oh. Yes, I think I'm ready for some more stuff. I guess some uh, chili beans is my next little ingredients here. I'll try to keep this handle out of the heat because it's actually getting really really hot when it gets into the flames that's not a good thing I hope I'll be able to fit in some of the tomatoes I also have two of these bouillon cubes I want to add in for a little bit of meaty, salty flavor. It's uh, always perfect to put this inside these kind of dishes. And the last, last thing I want to put inside is some tomatoes. to leave some of the sauce out. Oh yeah, it's a pretty foodless little pot. I, uh, my challenge now is to keep this little stove going on a pretty low heat for uh, maybe an hour or so. That, oh, then this would be some good eat eating I guess. I hope so. So let's check on this progress. This pot has been going now for yeah, 20 minutes or so. And it's raining. So this is really <laughs> first time in history. Chili in the rain in the middle of the woods on a bush box XL. And see my fire firewood is getting wet. But it's, yeah. It's fairly dry. On the inside. Ah, I think this little uh, chili pot is finished. It has been on here for uh, yeah, I think hour and a half. 
you see the liquid is reduced a little bit. It's perfect. Nice. Oh, it smells really nice. Yeah, I think that's that's my dinner for tonight. I think this is finally finished. I'm going to give it a try. It smells seriously nice. good that's really good mm. I think I'll have to finish this plate and then I'll put up my hammock and uh, probably go to bed because it's it's quite early and uh, quite late I mean oh that's Pretty hot chili. Oh, yeah. Mm. morning I have been uh, lying in my hammock inside my sleeping bag for a little while now and uh, it's been a nice morning it's uh, really windy and uh, I've had a few rain showers through the night and also this morning so uh, I think I need to get out of bed and uh, make myself some breakfast and maybe try some more fishing. left this uh, this pot outside tonight hanging in, hanging on the tree branch and it's about uh, it's about half half full so it will be a nice lunch for me
think maybe this is even better today than it was yesterday. Mm. It was a little bit of a challenge to cook it last night because uh, it was raining, it was winding, windy, and uh, it was dark. And I had to change between my two cameras, uh, bring stuff under my tarp. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit of a challenge, but I think it turned out pretty decent. The stove, I think, performed uh, pretty good. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge when it's uh, windy, like it was. Uh, Yesterday, when I started the, the fire in the, in the bush box, it was uh, no wind at all. Just a slight breeze from me and out uh, and towards the lake. And suddenly, when it started to rain, the wind turned and picked up quite a bit. And uh, it wasn't all that easy to control the, the heat inside the stove because it was it was burning. The wood at kind of an uneven speed because the the wind gives a lot of uh, oxygen to the to the fire and it also threw away uh, some of the, the coals with some sparks flying out of the out of the stove. And I don't think that's uh, something wrong with the stove. It's uh, just the conditions. I think that uh, the bush box is uh, it's, it's possible to make a safe fire in the, in the summertime with it, but you need to take a little bit care about uh, where to put it and what kind of wood to put in it. But all in all, it's uh, it seems to be a really versatile piece of equipment, and it packs down really small. And um, yeah, all in all, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to getting to know it better. Because uh, I know a lot of people around in the, in the bushcraft uh, community use these kind of stoves, and uh, they're really happy with them. And I, I'm pretty sure I would be too. I just, uh, yeah, like with all equipment, you need to test it and get to know it over time. That's the only way to know how it's actually working. So much flavor in this uh, in this chili pot. for a YouTube channel that I enjoy a lot and uh, the channel is called Zet Outdoors and uh, it's run by a really nice English guy he's uh, living in London and he's uh, documenting his uh, his journey into the outdoors and uh, lately he's been uh, doing a lot of collaborations with uh, really knowledgeable people and, uh, I think he's sharing a lot of really, really useful and interesting uh, stuff on his channel. So if you don't already know about this, uh, this channel, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you check out the Zed Outdoors channel. So I'll leave a link in the description to his, uh, to his channel page. So please check it out.
Hey, check this out! <laughs> yeah! That's a perfect fish! Seriously! Oh! I think I let him out. Let him go for this time. Yeah. I already had my dinner today. But well, that's awesome. Great stuff. Now it seems like this, uh, this little trip is coming to an end for me and I got to say I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, the food was awesome, the weather was uh, really changing. I was hoping for some thunderstorms yesterday but they didn't show up. So maybe that's for another video. And uh, yeah, the fishing was great. I uh, almost gave up on the fishing but uh, right before I was, uh, was about to to pack up my fishing kit, I managed to catch this tro trout and uh, yeah, I will definitely come back here and, uh, and try that, uh, that fishing again. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm not, I'm not e really used to this kind of, uh, of fishing, but it's, uh, it's nice. It's really, really nice and we have quite a few of these uh, small lakes with, uh, with perch and, and trout around in, uh, in the area I live. So. Yeah, you will definitely see more of that in the future. I also enjoyed testing out this uh, this Bushbox Bush, Bushbox XL from uh, Bushcraft Essentials. Uh, the company actually sent me this uh, this stove to to check out for the channel, and I'm really really grateful for that. So thanks a lot. And uh, I will bring this stove on uh, many future trips. So uh, if you're interested in, interested in uh, what I think of it, you should uh, probably watch more of, the, more of my videos because uh, it takes a little bit of time to get, uh, get to know some new equipment. But the stove uh, performed really good on this, uh, on this trip and uh, yeah, I'm happy with it so far. I guess that the only thing left for me to do now is to, uh, to pack up my little camp and, uh, and hike back to my car. It's uh, parked, uh, yeah, it's about uh, half an hour walk from here, so it's not very far. And uh, yeah, probably should uh, start planning my next trip. So until, until next time, take care and bye bye for now.